What is up everyone, Roadrunner back with another After Effects tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this cool Polaroid picture motion graphic. Let's get into it. Awesome, so the first thing I'm going to do is create a new composition. And I'm going to title this one Polaroid. And I'm going to import this picture of a Polaroid picture and drag that onto my composition. I'm going to hit S on my keyboard for the scale properties and I'm going to scale this down. Then I'm going to hit R on my keyboard and rotate it 90 degrees. I'm going to have to scale this down again. So now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a mask around the Polaroid picture because you can see the table that I was using in the background. So first we're going to go ahead and mask that out. And you may notice that this is actually the back of a Polaroid picture because the front was really shiny. However, you can use the front if you would like. So I'm going to go ahead now and click on my picture. Hit G for the pen tool. And I'm just going to go ahead and mask this out. And you may notice at the bottom here, I missed the corner, so I'm just gonna pull that out. And since this was sitting on a table, it was actually curving, so I'm going to add one more point here and just pull it in very slightly. And I'm gonna hit the Alter Option and Forward Slash to fit my composition to my window. Awesome. Now I'm going to click on it again and I'm actually going to mask out this portion where the picture would be. So go ahead and we're gonna do that now. And now you may be wondering, well, I drew the mask and it's not disappearing. And so we're gonna click here and hit M on our keyboard to bring up the mask properties. And it's gonna be this mask right here. So we're gonna change add to subtract. And there you go. Now you can see there is a little bit of black left from where my mask was. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix that now. So if you click on this and you use your V for select tool, you'll notice these points are circles and not squares and that's exactly what we want. Once you have this done, if you do plan on doing this again in the future, which you could even do is go up to composition, save frame as and file. Now what you want to do is click this Photoshop right here and you want to change this to RGB plus alpha and change the format to PNG sequence and hit OK. And you may want to save this somewhere specific. I'm just going to save mine to my desktop for now and hit render. And then if you bring that file actually back into After Effects and I'm going to click the eyeball to hide this for now. But if you bring in the PNG file that we just rendered You'll notice that it is the exact same thing without the masks, but everything is transparent. So you can do this in the future. For now, I'm going to delete that and bring this back. I'm going to go new and solid and black is the color we want for now. Hit OK. And we want to drag this below our Polaroid picture and resize it till it fits just under where we want our picture to go. Awesome. Now what we're going to do is click on this and we're going to hit G to bring our pen tool back. And what we're going to do is just mask out the edge here. And we want that to get as close to the corners as possible. And we're going to hit M and we're going to subtract this one as well. And we're going to hit F to bring up feather and I'm going to feather this out about 25. And I'll tell you why we're doing this in just a second. Now I'm going to bring in my picture that I would like in the Polaroid. And I'm going to place this in between the Polaroid and the black solid. And it is pretty large, so I'm going to have to scale this down. Awesome. And you'll see that the edges of my photo here are actually on the outside of the Polaroid. So what we're going to do is click on our photo again, hit G for pen tool, and we're just going to mask this out along the white edges of the Polaroid. And awesome, that looks pretty good. Now you're probably wondering what was the point of this black solid. And if you notice here, the picture just seems to fit right in there. 
but in real Polaroids, the picture is actually recessed from the frame, so this will actually act as our drop shadow, and it's a very subtle difference. May have to feather this out a little bit more, but you'll notice there's a slight shadow on the inside of the frame here. You'll notice it more at the top, so if I disable this for now and bring it back, you'll notice there is that slight drop shadow there, which I think makes this effect look a little bit more realistic. So now we're going to hit U to close all these up and we're going to create a new composition and I'm going to title this one Moving Pictures. And I'm going to drag my Polaroid composition in here. I'm going to hit the 3D button and hit R. And you'll notice that when I rotate it, this image is actually flat. Whereas in the example I showed you earlier, it was actually 3D. And this is really easy to do, and I will show you how to do that right after this quick message. And before we finish up today's tutorial, feel free to hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon to get notified when I post a new video. Also, comment down below what you'd like to see in future tutorials. Thanks so much. Awesome, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this sequence here. I'm going to check the 3D box for all of these. And you'll notice everything disappears. So what we're going to do is highlight these, hit P on our keyboard, and we're going to change the black solid to 1 on the Z position. And we're going to change our picture to 2 on the Z position. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this one and duplicate it. And we're going to bring it below everything here. And we're going to solo this one for now. And we're going to go over to our effects and presets. And we're going to type in levels. And we're going to drag that right on here. And we're going to make this a little bit darker. So if I go like this, you'll notice it's just slightly more dim than the original. So then we're going to hit P on our keyboard. We're going to right click on position and go separate dimensions. Then we're going to go over to Z position and alt click on the stopwatch and type in index and hit enter. If you've seen my tutorial on how to create 3D logos from two-dimensional objects. This will sound familiar to you because this is the exact same thing we did there. So now what I'm going to do is take this version right here and I'm going to duplicate it a few times or so until I have about 17 layers. Then I'm going to hit Command A to select them all and hit U to close those up. And then I'm going to toggle off the solo. So now you'll see your image and the drop shadow again. Now we're going to go back out to our moving picture composition. It should be three dimensional. However, mine is not. And that is really easy to fix. We're going to come over here and click our collapse transformations box. And now you will notice that our picture has some depth to it. If you're wondering why we put that levels effect onto our image, it's so that it would give it this little bit of shadow on the edge of the image. And I think that looks pretty good. So now if we want, we can keyframe the Y rotation. We can go ahead and go a few seconds in our composition and we can change this value here. And let's see how that looks. And I think that looks pretty good. Thank you so much everyone for joining me for another Adobe After Effects tutorial. Feel free to comment down below what you'd like to see in future videos. Thanks so much. Take it easy.